Hello. So we're back here and in this very video, we are going to be showing you in a very short while how to export OML files. You have a job with you, you're a video editor, you've done your, your bit and now you have been asked to get this audio files to your sound designer. Somebody's requesting for it, say, please, I need OML files from your timeline. And you are wondering, how do I do this? Is that why you are here? Okay, if that's why you are here, now you have your solution straight. There is a solution. All you need to do, look at your timeline very well. This is your project. You have all the audio uh, uh, on each line. You can see them. So what you do, go straight to your file. Go straight to your file. Look out for it. Export. You will find you will find OMF, all right? Look at it, click. Now under OMF, just watch and see a bit of the settings I'm going to uh, fix. In terms of audio, you have, uh, you can either be doing a 24 bits, a 16 bits, and in terms of the sample rate, you might be doing a 48 uh, kilohertz, or you are doing a 44.1 kilohertz, depending on what the uh the, the format or the request is from the editor who has asked you to send an OML file whatever in whatever case for the purpose of this video i'll do a setting of 24 bit and 48 kilohertz all right let's see how it goes Forty-eight thousand, and then next to it is this very important. What I do usually, I come down here and say, instead of embed audio, okay, you say separate audio. Now this is very important because it's going to help you give individual channels. You're going to have the files, so when uh, whichever you're sending it to gets the file, he gets a separate audio, gets OMF, and it's very perfect. I've used this over and over. I don't have uh, issues with it at all. Separate audio, and of course, uh, 24 bit, 40 kilohertz, depending on what they want. If they want lesser, you can still go back here and reset. You can have uh, something lesser, but this is perfect for uh, a processing. Of course, audio still very much in process. All right. When you're done with this, then you click OK. Now, under formats, I haven't done that, sorry. Under formats, you have uh, broadcast wave. I always ad advise broadcast wave when, I, uh, when I'm to send my audio files out. So I do not do AIF. Okay, I do broadcast wave. Perfect setting. Honestly speaking, this setting, you would never go wrong using this setting out of your Premiere Pro. You find this way, so you click OK, and then you have your OML file rendered straight wherever you want. You could choose your desktop or wherever, and then you save. All right, guys, we're going to stop there right away. If you enjoyed the video and you learned something, please like and subscribe to encourage us to make more videos for you. Peace out.